Well, it has been another wild ride last few days with a lot of things are happening. In this video, I'm going to share with you six different sources of free money that uh, rideshare drivers can apply for and hopefully get and put into your bank account. And stick around because at the end of the video, I'm going to share with you my number one piece of advice for dealing with the government agencies that we have to engage with in order to get these funds. Hey everybody, it is Jay Crater with The Rideshare Guy. And in today's video, I'm gonna be providing a lot of what we call content, a lot of details. This will be a little bit of a longer video uh, because I wanna give you as much information as I have to share with you so that you can navigate um, through all these, th all these different um, agencies and uh, forms that you gotta go through in order to get the money. But there are actually six different ways you can get money out of this to support you and your family. A lot of it comes from the $2.2 trillion stimulus bill that was passed exactly one week ago. Um, as time goes on, we're learning that the government isn't as prepared for us, the rideshare drivers. Um, nothing's really changed in terms of what the, um, the application process is. They're not asking, are you an independent contractor or anything like that? So my philosophy is let's just move forward and get, get our names um, on the list, get our applications in, mark the date and time when we applied, and let the government catch up. Let's start. Okay, number one is standard unemployment insurance. So as independent contractors in the past, we've not been able to get unemployment insurance because we don't have an, an employer who's taking money and putting money into the unemployment fund. With the stimulus package that just passed, we are now allowed to apply for and, and get uh, money um, as unemployed people. The amount varies by state that you're in. If you're in New Jersey, you can get up to $713. If you're in California, it's $450. Chicago is $471. So the best way to find out what's available in your city or your state is to type unemployment Google, unemployment benefits, and then the name of your state. And what you're seeing right here is exactly what comes up uh, when I do that for California. It says file an unemployment insurance claim, EDD, California government. And that's what you're gonna do, is you're going to then click on that and go and apply. Now, there's been a lot of questions about, well, what do I call myself? Um, who, do I re who do I report as, as my uh, employer? Um, who's my supervisor? And I'm gonna cover that in just a few minutes. Second source of revenue is on top of your unemployment benefits, you're gonna be given another $600 per week. Now this uh, is purely because of the illness that we're all dealing with, and that will run for 16 weeks, okay, which is approximately four months. It goes until the end of July. Regular unemployment benefits have been extended to 39 weeks, which is almost like almost 10 months. Um, so I don't really see how any rideshare driver is going to be able to claim that much unemployment because at some point we're going to be able to go back and drive and hopefully it's not it's it's <laughs> it's within two to three to four months and and not ten. So here's the information I want to provide to you on applying for your un unemployment uh, insurance benefits. First one is uh, people have asked what do you, what do you call yourself? Well, what I what I put down was. Uh, Air, airport driver delivery service, okay? That was an option in California. So maybe the different states have different options, but you wanna find something as close as you can to driving, right? Driving for money. Um, then the reason why I was not working, I said public health. So that was a reason I could check off as why I was no longer working was public health. I put the date that I stopped working as March 1st. And then in terms of, who to put as your direct supervisor, as you can see right here, um, I'm giving you the information for Lyft. Direct supervisor Logan Green, he's the CEO of Lyft. So that's the information you need, the address of the, of the world headquarters, their phone number, and then for Uber. And there's a phone number and your direct supervisor would be Dara K himself, right? And then the next thing you're seeing here is what, uh, what we see in California when you have completely filed your, your, your uh, you have filed your claim. And you can read there in the fine print, it says they're gonna send me something 
by April 4th telling me what my status is. So that's tomorrow. So we'll see uh, what, that ha what, what they send to me. And um, so my philosophy is apply now uh, because when I was applying, it said that your benefits would start um, the, the following Sunday after I applied. So get, get, get the application in there, get that date set so that when they do catch up to us, you can say, well, I applied on this date, so I should get benefits going back to when I applied. Okay, number three is the stimulus bill provides almost everybody in America with a $1,200 uh, payment. So as long as, here's what's required. As long as you uh, filed a tax return for 2019 and you showed between a dollar and $75,000 um, for your income, which is line 8B on the tax return, then you're gonna get $1,200. If you haven't submitted your tax return for 2019, then they're gonna look at your 2018. Now, if you didn't apply for 2000, if you didn't do either one of those, then I would suggest you right away file a 2019 tax return because that could uh, get you an extra $1,200 in April. The other question a lot of people have asked and I've asked myself is, well, the IRS does not have my uh, bank account information because the, the uh, government is saying they're going to direct deposit this money into your bank account um, next this month, this month, in the month of April. So I looked on the IRS website and what they say is, uh, it says in the coming weeks, Treasury plans to develop a web-based portal for individuals to provide their banking information to the IRS online so that individuals can receive payments immediately as opposed to checks in the mail. So that's not happened yet. I just pulled that off the internet yesterday. So the government is kind of lagging, right? They're, 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 they're I mean, this is unprecedented in, in really human history, the amount of relief and the amount of people that are out of work. It's um, staggering. Number four, it's called EIDL, Economic Injury Disaster Loan Program Business Grants. So this apparently is a part of the SBA, the Small Business Administration. And the government is offering $10,000 emergency grants to small businesses. Well, drivers, we are a small business. Now, in order to qualify as a small business, you need to have uh, an uh, EIN, an, employee identifi an employer identification number. Now, a lot of drivers, they don't set themselves up with any kind of a business structure. Um, and if you don't, I would suggest if you want to apply for this grant to just uh, go to the IRS website. We're gonna put a link right below this video. It's really simple. You can do it online and, and with, within just a, a minute, you're gonna have uh, a new number. So you're gonna set up a sole proprietorship for yourself and give it a name. And then you can follow the link that we're providing underneath this uh, video to go and apply for a $10,000 grant. So a grant is different than a loan. A loan you have to pay back. A grant is like, this company really needs money. So it's going to ask you, why do you need the money? Now as a driver, you could say um, business has dropped down to you know 20% of regular uh, and, and you need just the revenue to, to keep going. So it's a, it's a good program and I don't know if I'll get it. I don't know how many people are applying for it. I don't know how much money there is to, to just hand out, but it's legitimate and um, go for it. You know, what the heck? It's gonna take you 20 minutes to a half an hour and you might at some point have $10,000 in your pocket. So give it a shot. Number five is apply for a Small Business Administration loan. So we'll put the link for the SBA below the video. And um, you know, if you have a small business, in addition to what you're doing, you might want to apply for a small business administration loan. If you take that money and you use it to, to pay people that work for you, then that loan may be forgiven in the future. The sixth and final source of free funds is God forbid if you happen to get the COVID-19 virus and you can prove it, then Uber, Lyft, some of the other rideshare companies um, delivery companies are saying they will provide you with 14 days worth of sick pay. And there's a lot of different uh, rules about how they're going to calculate what that amount is. Um, we, we know of one driver that got the money. Uh, it was like $2,000 for, for the two weeks. 
However, a lot of drivers have had a lot of issues. As you can see on this CNET article, uh, it says, gig workers with COVID-19 symptoms say it's hard to get sick leave from Uber, Lyft, and Instacart. Um, if you've worked with Uber support and Lyft support, you know it can be extremely frustrating. Sometimes it feels like you're talking to robots and not human beings. But persevere, that's what you can do. That's what you got to do when it comes to dealing with Uber and Lyft. And if you're sick and you're, you know, lying in bed and you're just like starting to feel a little better, start the process, you know, let them know, provide whatever documentation they need so that you can get some money. Key takeaways here. Wow, that's a lot to take in. But there are six different ways that drivers can get some free money. My number one piece of advice is have some patience. Now, if you need money right away, that's difficult to be patient, right? So if that's the case, you've got to figure out a way to go bring some money in, go do, you know, we've done videos about all the different companies that are profiting from this uh, crisis, um, delivering food, delivering groceries, delivering pizza, any kind of delivery other than driving people around is booming right now. So you can go make some money in the short term and then, and then start to get uh, these sources uh, flowing into your bank account. But patience is really what's required because it's not going to be fast. The government doesn't move fast and we are at the back of the line because we're like this uh, creature that they've never dealt with, right? Being an independent contractor that's, a plot, that's getting unemployment benefits. This is a new thing, never been done before. So all we can do is be patient. I continue to be grateful that we live in a country that has compassion and realizes that uh, they need us uh, to, 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 to um, not go down with the ship, right? They want us to keep driving. They want us to keep <laughs> doing what we do. And we got to get through this in order to be able to, to do that. So that's, that's, a, that's a blessing in itself. We provide a great service that people really, really still want and will want once this thing blows over. So hey everybody, it's Jay Crater with the Rideshare Guys saying thanks for watching. Hope you got a lot of value out of this. Give it a like, subscribe to our channel, join our team, stay up to date. And trust me, when I learn anything more about how to apply for any of these things, I'll be back here making another video to give you more instruction. All right, y'all go out and have a great day. Be safe out there.